Okay, so let's have a look at how to use Python controller in Ashes. So for that, obviously you need to have Python on your computer and it needs to be version 3.7 or above. And you need the Simus module. Um, the easiest way to get it is, you know, if you have pip on your computer, you can just pip install Simus, the Simus package, and then yeah, you're, uh, you're, you're ready to go. If you don't have Python, if you don't have pip, I'll just put some links on how to get that. Cool, so now I'm gonna try this model, for example, so just uh, RNA only. And the first thing you need to do is to say that you want to use Python here. So on the wind turbine part, you click the Python icon and you say, enable Python script. And you have two ways of doing it. One is if you just select the, the, um, the script and it runs, and the other is manually which is what we do for debugging. So here I'll just, you know, start with automatically just to just to show. And we have some examples. So in the Ashes uh, 319 um, folder, you, you can go to Python examples, Python controllers. And there's a few, yeah, there's a few examples. This one is the, the NREL 5 megawatt. And this one is one that just pitches the, the, um, the blades in like 15 seconds or so. So I'm just gonna try this one here and press OK. And now that I said, now that I've said what script I want, I have to say where it applies. So in my case, it's a script for the for the pitch. So you know it could be for the for the generator as well, it could be for the yo, but right now this one is just for the pitch. And I can start my simulation. And now if I plot, say, the demanded pitch and the RPM, so I think that after 15 seconds, the, um, this starts at, at 15 seconds and then the blades are just gonna pitch to, to 90 degrees. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so there you go. So after 15 seconds, the, the blade starts pitching. As expected, the, um, the RPM decreases and will eventually stop. So yeah, so that's if you wanted to run it uh, with this automatic method where you don't really kind of look at the code or, or anything. Um, but where this is really powerful is if you need to debug your controller. So for that I'm gonna come here again and instead of saying automatic I'm gonna say manual. Now before we go into this I have to show you one parameter which you can change here in tools, preferences, Python and maximum waiting time. So this is how long Ashes is going to wait for the script to communicate with it. And basically you want a small value when you're running in automatic so that if your Python script crashes, you know, you don't have to wait five minutes uh, until Ashes tells you, hey, I haven't received anything. But you want a big value when you're debugging because, you know, if you're going to stop the script and look at values and stuff, then you don't want to, you don't want Ashes to kind of stop the simulation because it hasn't heard from Python in the last five seconds. So yeah, so this is five minutes, this is plenty, so I'm gonna leave this like this. And yeah, and now this is set this is set to manual. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to, to run the, the script manually. So I can press play and I'll get a window that tells me, you know, I have to start the, the Python script and here I have the, the value that I entered earlier. So let's see. So I'm gonna come here, Python controllers, pitch to feather. Cool, and I'm gonna run this. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna run this from from a Studio Code. So I'm starting the script, and there you go. So now we've connected to Ashes server, and now if I go back to Ashes, again the simulation is going uh, with the Python script, and yeah, again, so where this is really useful is that you can, you know, you can put a breakpoint, for example, I don't know, here. And now, okay, you know, for example, I can, I can kind of, yeah, look at the, look at the values that are in the, in the script, right? And now this, the Ashes simulation is stopped. Um, so I can, yeah, I can just go through my script as, as you would do with, with, with anything really. Um, so I guess, I don't know, model, model time, or, you know, you, you can use the debug console, for example. So. You know, let's see. So model time is well, it's over 15. So right now I should get into the part where I should start uh, starts changing the angle. So here we can be debugging, and then if you 
And if I remove the breakpoint and I kind of let it go again, then I can go back to Ashes and the simulation is running again. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I, hope that's, I hope that this is helpful. I hope that you manage to yeah, that, that you that you find this as useful as we do when we're uh, trying to write controllers and don't hesitate to get in touch if there's anything that you think we should improve or or if you have any issues. Cool, thanks a lot and see you around.